Vining, sir? That's right, Lieutenant. The car is waiting for you, sir. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, this is my wife, Lieutenant, Mrs. Vining. Welcome to England, Mrs. Vining. Thank you, Lieutenant. Do I have to salute back? No, honey, just flutter your eyelashes and these all yours. Uh, may I take your coat, sir? Oh, thanks. Uh, put this with the Commander of Vining's luggage. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you were lucky to get in, sir. We've had fog warning. We expect to be closed in within the hour. Wouldn't you know it? When I left here in 47, there was a fog. Isn't the same one, is it? Uh, I wouldn't know, sir. I've only been here since 49. Oh. Hull and Roman took I.O. Do we want him? Hell no! What we want is D.I.R.L.S. Dames! <laughs> <laughs> you two boys want to be alone. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. This is my old buddy, Hank Hamlin. Hank, Hello, boy. Hank. So you've done it again, you old wolf. Well, you learn to pick him now. Why, thank you, Hank. You should have seen his first wife, Mrs. Whiny. What was her name now? Uh, Candy, that's... Yeah, well, I don't think we need to go into all that right now. Come on, darling, let's get going. Gee, just as it was getting interesting, too. Not to me, it wasn't. Oh! Get's all aboard, sir. Right, thank you, Lieutenant, and the bus. Get moving. Hey, Lieutenant. Yes, what is it? Don't look now. Put your rack showing. You've done it again. Since when was this? Don't laugh. Since this morning. <laughs> what do you know? I'm a choose. It was going to be next month, but when this job came up, I just couldn't let him get away. I don't trust these naval men with English girls. So right, lady. You got caught by one last time. All that candy. <laughs> hey, you know something, <laughs> darling? I, I just can't get over running into old Hank again after all these years. Some coincidence, huh? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that? Pretty. You certainly are. Where are we staying, Hank? Oh, they fix you up good. One of them uh, luxury joints in Grosvenor Square. Oh, sounds pretty good. Oh, it's a lot better than that duck you had with candy. <laughs> I'll always remember. Oh, look, darling, a uh, real old English pub. Look, see? <laughs> that candy. I'll never forget that day you carried her over the threshold. Did he really do that? 
Ah, romantic. Romantic, nothing. She was cockeyed. What a thing. I want to tell you. Oh, look, darling. Oh, a church. Isn't it pretty? Oh, that's the one thing I regret, darling, not having that church wedding. <laughs> that caddy, what a gal. Remember how she turned up at the wedding with four of her ex-boyfriends? Oh, what an interesting wedding. Did one of them give her away? Oh, they could have, but they all kept their mouths shut. Get it? <laughs> what a gal. Oh, darling, look. Cows. Genuine old English cows, look. They didn't look any different from the cows back home. Oh, there's a lot of difference. Why, over here they have some of the finest breeds in the world. The uh, Jerseys, the Shorthorns, the uh, Corgis, the... Darling, must we talk about cows? Oh, that reminds me, Skip. I saw a picture of candy in the paper, modeling or something. Fashion model must be pretty. Oh, yeah. Good shape, all right. Whoever put her together should have been president of the Meat Packers Union. What do you say, Skip? I say let's talk about something else. Okay, okay. <laughs> Remember that time down in Brighton on the beach? We're sitting next to a party all day and see. Up comes Candy. And she really had a shape for a bathing tooth, this gal. Captain Oaks, billeting officer. I want to see that everything's ready for the commander. Yes, sir. I've got this bedroom ready for them. It's quieter and they won't be disturbed so much. What do you mean? Well, we've only just been married, haven't we? Oh, I see. Are you married, Captain? Yes, of course I am. Why? Oh, nothing. What has, whether I'm married or not, got anything to do with you anyway? Plenty. I'm still single. Well, that doesn't exactly surprise me. That's them. Now get this stuff out of here. Make yourself look a bit respectable. Hey, is that where we're going to live? Yep, I it. Gosh, you boys really do yourselves well over here. Mine, darling. It's an old family custom. Oh, yes, I forgot. You always carry them in, don't no you? No cracks out of you. Uh, I'm Commander Vining. You have a reservation for me? Commander Vining, your apartment's number 15 on the fifth floor. Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. <laughs> honey? Oh, honey, look. Oh, it's out of order. I have to use the stairs. Oh, but it's five floors. And how far can this tradition thing go? As far as I can carry you, darling. That's better. They should be here any minute now. You just stand there. How are we doing, darling? Fine, darling. There's only three more to go. Taking the time, aren't they? Probably stopped to have a chat with the Admiral. Are you sure you feel all right, honey? Oh, yeah, fine. Just fine. Never mind. There's only one more to go. Oh. You don't suppose nothing could have happened to them? Well, honey, I made it. Honey, you really deserve a kiss for that. <coughs> uh, welcome, Commander. Nothing wrong with Mrs. Viney, is there, sir? No, thank you, Captain. She's all right. Tired, darling? Funny, I feel as fresh as a daisy. That's very funny. You know, you're putting on weight. Uh, this is Lucy, Mrs. Viney. She's going to take care of you as long as you're here. Oh, how nice. Hello, Lucy. Good evening, ma'am. I'm I'd here in the capacity to help you. Oh, there's no hurry, but we would like to see the flat of it's all right. Fine, thank you very much, Captain. And I'll be saying good night, and I'll do anything at all. Thank you, Captain. Anything at all, Captain. Yes, thank you. Good night, Captain. Good night, Captain. That's the kitchen, madam. Oh, darling, it's perfectly lovely, isn't it? Mm-hmm, not bad. And there's a little bar, sir. I don't suppose you want to be bothered with the kitchen. <gasps> this is 
Where's the bathroom? Uh, there's a shower for them as likes a shower, and a bath for them that likes a bath. Well, I like a shower, but I think Laurie likes a bath. And this is the guest room. I don't suppose you'll want to be bothered with guests. I guess not. And then you've got a dressing room here, which connects up with the bedroom, then. And this is your bedroom. What is so funny about the bedroom? I guess you've seen too many honeymoon movies, darling. <laughs> well, I haven't seen too many movies. What happens now? Don't you remember? Nope. We, uh, unpack. Are you really my wife? Yep. Fifteen bucks. And cheap at the price. Pretty richy layout, huh? Only one trouble with it. It's too crowded. Oh, I have that one now, please. Yep. Yeah. It's a real honeymoon hotel. Mm-hmm. And this must be the lobby. Yeah. Wouldn't that candy be crazy about this place? She used to go for swell apartments. I want to tell you something, but there's something I want to say to you. Yeah? Good night. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. You are. No, I ain't. I'm... Oh, I get it. You want to be alone. Yeah. Whatever gave you an idea like that? Well, I can take a hint. That's fine. Good night, Hank. Good night, Mrs. Vine. Look, be a good fellow and see if you can rustle up some champagne for us, will you? And please see that we're not disturbed by anybody for the rest of the evening, including you. That's all right, Skip. I got a drinking date. Good. And please, please don't talk about Candy. Who wants to talk about her? Now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, I remember. Laurie, stop it. Okay. Well? You need to shave. You know you're right. And I'm gonna get under that shower. Oh, gosh, would you believe it? I've only worn them once and I've got another ladder. Laurie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, uh, just an old habit. I always roll them this way. I'll have to learn to do that for you. It's a funny thing, that's the one thing she did do right for me. Darling, I know you hate talking about it, but just for the record, what went wrong with your first marriage? Well, the only way I can figure it is as far as she was concerned, I had just two faults. Everything I said and everything I did. <laughs> I'll remember that. Mm. Perfect, Candy, perfect. Just what I wanted. <laughs> No, 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 hold it, hold it. That's right. <laughs> you, you didn't tell me you were married. Well, who says I am? What? It's in all the papers. What? <laughs> Commander Vining, U.S. Navy, famous wartime ace, arrives back in England today on a special mission. Commander Vining was married in 1946 to Candy Markham, well-known fashion model. <laughs> Hey, well, what are you doing? I haven't taken it yet. Sorry, Tony. I have to go. Go? You can't go. Let him wait. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is important. No, but Candy, I... I I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, that's all very well, Candy, but listen, I can't let you go like this. Candy, don't... Drinks up. Come and get it. Wow. You know, during the war, I used to cut things like you out of Esquire and paste them on the walls. Ah, oh, too bad, darling. Now you'll have to make do with all the same wallpaper from mm, now on. But what a pattern. <laughs> love me? Mm, yes. I love me, too. I mean, <laughs> I love you. Uh, did you want something, or are you just a spectator? Oh, no, sir. I just came to say I'm going off. Oh, too bad. I'll be here at 8 in the morning. Good night, madam. Good night, Lucy. Good night, sir. <laughs> you know, that girl should have worked for King Solomon. Every night I giggle. <laughs> what about that drink you promised me? Well, I guess we better make this a 64 wing loving cup. What's that, for goodness sake? I'll show you. First of all, you link drinking arms with me, like so. Uh-huh. And we put our cheeks very close together, like so. Yes. And then? And we forget all about the drinks. Hey, Skip, I forgot to tell you. <sighs> what? Admiral Fields will be back soon after nine. I want you to call him. Tonight? Yeah, flat two, first floor. Okay, okay. Hank. Yeah? Are you going now? Oh? Huh? Are you going now? Yeah, as soon as I grab a snack out of the icebox. Oh, that's a pity. I'm sorry you have to go so soon. Uh, I don't have to go. I stay here to keep you company. Oh, no, 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 thanks, Hank. I appreciate it, but I wouldn't dream of it. I don't mind. Your social plans. No, thanks. No trouble. While you're at it, get good and drunk, will you? Good night. I get your sandwich. <laughs> 
Mm -mm. I'm not hungry. More champagne, then? Not just now, darling. No champagne? No sandwich? What then? Darling, would you mind very much if I went to my room now? Oh, no. You stay here and have a cigarette. I won't be more than half an hour. But, darling, a half an hour, that's a lifetime. Exchange? How are you all? Me too. Good night. Remember? Now you get out of here. Get out of here this minute. Oh, darling. But you don't understand. I'm on my honeymoon. No kidding. You really are married? Yes, sir. It happened this morning. Well, congratulations. I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> well, it looks as though I arrived in the nick of time. Are you in for a shock? Now, look, if you must talk, please talk quietly. My wife's in there. Correction, your wife is in here. I'm your wife. You seem to forget I divorced you in 1947. So you said. Well, I remarried today. Got it? Yeah, I got it. You're a bigamist. Now, I'm a bigamist. The divorce you got in California is invalid in England. Invalid? You know what that means? Sure. Invalid? That's somebody who's sick. Yeah, and that'll be you if you don't shut up. Now, listen, Candy. I've divorced you, and now I'm remarried, see? Yes, in California, but over here, you're still married to me. You've got to get an English divorce to make it all legal. So, you see, he's not really married to her at all. Not here. What am I going to do? Well, you could start by telling my wife-in-law. Yeah. Are you too crazy? Why, she'd walk straight out on me, and who could blame her? Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Don't worry, Skip. We'll think of something. What with? Yeah, what with? Now, don't start stripping. Hey, uh, Skip, uh, you remember that time in California the fella came up in the bar? Signals. Skip? Dingy, dingy, money, mo. Look out, Buster, here we go! Oh, put me down! What are you doing? <sighs> Look after her. Candy, I appeal to your better nature. Please leave. No, I want to stay and see all the fun. What fun? Well, you should ask that with two wives on one honeymoon. Well, don't just stand there. Do something. I am doing something. What? I'm listening. Laurie! Laurie! Are you there? Candy, please. I'll make a bargain with you. Anything, anything. When I agreed to let you divorce me, you promised me a settlement, remember? Well, well I never got it. It's just a matter of money. How much do you need? Five thousand dollars. Five? Five thousand dollars? That's blackmail. What blackmail? Enterprise. I won't pay it. All right, then I'll have to scream. Go ahead, scream your head off. <laughs> no! All right, Candy, you win. Keep it quiet, will you? Oh? What's the matter, darling? I thought I heard someone scream. Yeah, it was me. I, I caught my head in the door. Uh, I mean, my finger. Oh, honey, let me see. Which one? Oh, one of these. It's all right now. You sure? Yeah, fine. Well, what do you think of it? It's awful. Awful? Hey, my negligee. Oh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see you, Nat. Uh, uh, go and put it on. But I've got it on. Well, take it off. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Well, sure. You don't want to wear it out, do you? Laurie, you haven't even looked at it. 
Oh, oh, but I have. It's wonderful, delightful. Uh, go and let me see what you're going to put on tomorrow. But I'm already for bed now. Oh, well, uh, good night. Good night. I, I mean, goodbye. I, I mean, how about another drink? Haven't had the last one yet. Yeah, that's right. We, we haven't even started yet, have we? Well, well, look, darling, you go ahead in and I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. Don't worry, I won't be long. You're the one who's doing all the worrying. Tammy, I'll give you a check if you leave right now. Nothing doing. Cash only. I don't carry $5,000 around with me. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> That's up to you. Where am I going to get $5,000 at this time of night? If I know that, you think I'd be in this man's army? Well, think of something, man. Think of something. I've been thinking all the time. What have you thought of? Nothing. Great. Now, look, Candy. Andy, you've got to get out of here. Not until I have that money. But suppose my wife should... Why can we put it at safe? Spare bedroom. What, next to ours? From now on, consider yourself a rating. But there's nowhere else. Uh, all right, come on. I haven't said all I want to say about my divorce yet, so you better come to my room later. Certainly not. It's downright immoral. Since when has it been immoral for a husband to come to his wife's bedroom? You are not my wife, and I am not coming to your bedroom. Oh, Laurie, how you've changed. You used to say there wasn't another woman like me in the whole world. Yeah, well, for once, I was dead right. <laughs> what a dame. Will you please stop saying that? Hey, I've been thinking. You remember that Englishman that was in shape with you? He was a lawyer, wasn't he? Frank. Yeah. That's right. Quick, where's the phone book? Ah, here. Frank, that was a brainwave. C, Bedditton, Bedditton. Under B. Take it easy, rest the brain. Ah, here it is. Bedditton, F, Algernon, Putney. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Here, sir, sir. He hears him, and he answers back. Is that you, Putney? I beg your pardon. Is that Frank 30031? Who is that? Laurie. Good gracious, what are you doing back here? Well, this is wonderful. We must get together one evening. Yes, we must. This evening. Listen, you remember I divorced Candy? Yes. What? Invalid? Mm, it's possible. Depends on the grounds, of course. It's quite simple anyway. You just uh, divorce her again over here. She's there now. With your second wife. With your second wife? Well, that is rather awkward, isn't it? <laughs> well, look, uh, come along and see me at my office on Monday morning, will you? But I can't wait till Monday. Listen, I think you better come around here and straighten this out tonight. Oh, so sorry. No, not tonight, old chap. I'm, uh, I'm watching rather an interesting program on British birds. No, British birds. They're not the same thing at all, old boy. You will? Okay, fine. That's a good fella. Yeah, quick as you can. Uh, where are we? Right here. Right here. The address, you numbhead. 63 Grosvenor Square. 63 Grosvenor Square. Okay, fine. Well, as long as Jillian doesn't see her, we're... Oh! Darling, I keep hearing... I thought I heard someone call out. Uh, yes, darling, it, it was Hank. He stubbed his toe. Oh, I didn't know what... Ah! <laughs> you see, very painful. I thought you'd gone long ago, Hank. Uh, yes, darling, he, he was going, but something very important came up. Uh, yeah, uh, in the elevator. In the elevator? Uh, yes, my, my overnight things. Uh, he forgot to bring him up before, but he's just going now, aren't you, Hank? Am I? Yes. Uh, look, darling, why don't you run along back into the room, and I'll be with you just as soon as I've seen him. All out. right, darling. Well... Good night, Hank. I hope so, Mrs. Vine. Come on, stupid. Where are we going? We're not going anywhere. You are. Can I stay and watch? Look, I want you to get a car laid on in case Frank can persuade her to go. Okay. Don't forget, Candy wants to see you in her room. Now, what's the point in my going to her room? Don't ask me. B is my hobby. Something. Yours? 
No, yours. Mine? It was in your case. And this? Oh, oh that, that silly fool Hanky. He must have picked up somebody else's by mistake. A woman's. I imagine so, dear. Yes, well, I'll just take this into her. Into her? Uh, I mean, down to her. Darling, there's nothing wrong, is no, there? No, no, nothing at all. Uh, I'll just get rid of this. And hurry back, it's getting late. Well, darling, it's early yet. Aren't you tired? No, no, not a bit. Well, I am. Oh, well, you, you run along to bed then, darling. Oh, I thought someone had pinched that. Well, they haven't. Get back into your room. Not so fast. I want to talk to you. Well, you can't. I've got something else to do. Well, that'll have to wait. Look, isn't it enough you've ruined my honeymoon? Aren't you satisfied? Well, are you? Listen, I've got a lawyer on his way over here. He'll settle everything. A criminal lawyer? No, certainly not. A straight one. Sorry. Quick, back in you. For. I wasn't trying to get in. I was trying to get out. Did you get rid of that bag? Only just. Oh, <laughs> you mean the case? <laughs> yes. Uh, look, darling, well, why don't you run along back to your room? I'll be, I'll be with you before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. Oh, did, did I say Jack? I, I, I meant Charlie. Charlie Robinson. Oh, nuts! Charlie nuts? I've got something to say to you. Ah, oh, there's just one thing I want to say to you. Oh, what's that? Jack Robinson. <laughs> so you've been listening, eh? Well, perhaps now you can understand why I can't hang around here talking to you. Well, we've got to talk sometime. All right, but not now. Well, why don't you come to my room later? Certainly not. Well, if you don't come to my room, I'm going to come to yours. All right, all right, you win. I'll come to your room later. Skip, the car's here. Hank. Hank, what the heck do you think you're doing creeping around like that? I thought you might be asleep. Fine chance of that. What are you doing under there, looking for something? I thought you were my wife. Why, does she look like him? <laughs> what a gal. Hey, you stay put. Come on, get out of here. Well, I got the car. Now what? Now we wait for Frank to do his stuff. Hey, supposing he can't talk her out of it, then what? Supposing she stays here all night, then what? Suppose when a maid walks in in the morning and finds her here, then what? And meanwhile, supposing that Mrs. Viney bumps into that Mrs. Viney, then what? For Pete's sake, will you stop saying then what? Well, if I can't say then what, what then? Oh, why doesn't Frank get here? What can be holding them up? There's another angle. Suppose for... Will you shut up and stop thinking? Oh, why did there have to be a fog tonight? And Frank's such a lousy driver. That's Frank. Just look at that busted fender of mine. Yes, I, you fellas drive about over here as if you own the roads. What about you? Oh, God darn fool, why don't you look where you're going? Hey, Frank! Don't stand there arguing with the old fool. Tell him to go lay an egg. My dear sir, I think it only fair to point out that I happen to be a lawyer. So what? And if you'll observe the position of your car, you'll see that you've been driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, yeah? But at least it's facing the right way. And what has that got to do with it? This happens to be a one-way street. Well, now he's here, I may as well shove off. Oh, no, you're not. We're in this together. If this ever gets out, we'll be thrown out of the service. We? You got yourself two wives without any help from me. Ah, yes, but you're a party to concealing the facts. Who's concealing the facts? I'll tell the whole world. Commander Vanny's got up, two wives! Shut up. Commander Vanny's got shut two up. wives! Shut up! There, that's Frank now. Go let him in and then stand by. How do you like that? He gets himself two wives and I'm left holding the baby. Go on. Good evening. I'm Betterton. Uh, Betterton, Betterton, and Betterton. Yeah? Where's the other two? <laughs> Is Commander Varney here, please? I don't want to. In there. Hey, Skip! Thank goodness you're here, Frank. I don't uh, get it. One guy comes to the door, says he's Betterton, Betterton, and Betterton. I don't figure it. They do everything in triplicate over here. Oh. A friend of mine. Oh, hi. Now, look, Frank. 
What's the course of action? Ah, yes, well, I, I haven't been idle since I spoke to you on the telephone. I, uh, I rang, uh, I rang Hicks. Yeah, he's, um... I rang, uh... uh Blue? Well, uh, Bitterbins are uh, supposed to be very good for me. Uh -huh. I, um... I rang Hicks, he's my chief clerk, mm -hmm. and, um... Oh, sorry. It's all right. Here we are. Yes, I rang uh, Hicks, my chief clerk. Mm. I instructed him to cable America with a view to ascertaining the exact grounds on which the divorce was granted over there. Nice work, Frank. Well, you should hear something first thing in the morning. Great, great. I knew I could depend on you, Frank. Well, that's that. I'll say uh, au revoir and jolly good luck. Au revoir? Wait a minute. You can't leave me like this. After all, it was you who introduced me to Candy in the first place at that dance, remember? I remember perfectly. I escorted her there and you took her home. Well, don't be sore about it. After all, I let you take a mother home, didn't I? Yes, I remember her, too. She weighed 20 stone. As you know, I danced with her. Hey, Frank, uh, you were pretty stuck on Candy, weren't you? Well, I certainly admired her very much. I, I always thought she was very charming. <laughs> Do you remember the evening dress she wore? It had a sort of, uh, sort of bare top with a sort of a uh, rather pretty cluster of... Uh, yeah, she was a nice girl, wasn't she? Look, Laurie. Candy's coming here is just a, a mad, impulsive escapade. I'm perfectly certain that she won't return to you. Won't return? She's here. She's what? Where? In that bedroom. Good gracious me. Uh, uh, and the bride? In that bedroom. We're just one big, happy family. Really, Laurie. This isn't done, you know. Not in peacetime. Have they met yet? Not yet, but they will if you don't do something pretty quick. I do something. Well, why don't you do something? I, I will. I'll mix us some drinks. Ah, drinks, drinks, drinks. Um, ice, give me some ice. Where do you think you are, home? What, what can I do? What's the good of a lawyer who can't tell me what to do with two wives and one honeymoon? You're not supposed to have two wives on one honeymoon. One should be ample. Well, darn it, man, it was none of my choosing. It could happen to anybody, even to you. No, maybe not to you. I've got an idea. You have? Yeah. You, you thought of a means of getting candy away? That's right. No fuss? No fuss. No scene, no scandal? No, thank you. None? Absolutely not. Congratulations, Laurie. There's no need for me to stay, then. But Laurie, hold on. You haven't heard my idea yet. Frank! Now, look, Laurie. This is not the sort of case that I want to get mixed up in. Matrimonial tangles aren't quite in our line, you know. Conveyancing is our strong point. It's dull, but lucrative. But won't you at least listen to my idea? Must I? Of course you must. You're part of it. Me? Look, simple wartime tactics. I go into Jillian's room and create a diversion, while you tackle Candy in her room. I beg your pardon. Isn't it a great idea? And it came to me just like that. Yes. You could forget it just like that. Look, all you have to do is talk to her man to man. But it's man to woman. A woman's a very different thing to a man. You've been looking at diagrams. She'll only tell me to get out. Not Candy. Just tell her she can have the money as soon as the bank's open in the morning. Then take her away in your car. Where to? How do I know where to? Where do you usually take women? I don't usually take them anywhere. That's fine. Take her there. I mean, supposing... Supposing she's undressed. So? I'm going home. But what's the panic? You're a bachelor, aren't you? I cannot allow myself to be compromised. Well, of all the selfish attitudes, don't you realize that Jillian's liable to walk out of that room at any moment and then think of the mess I'll be in? What sort of mess do you think I'll be in? Charging into the bedroom of a woman partially undressed. Well, who asked you to charge in partially undressed? I don't understand. What have you got to lose? I have my honor. Oh, yes. Well, all right. I'll get Hank to help you. Oh. Yeah? Oh, so you've been listening, huh? Sure. Thought I'd save you the bother explaining. All right, then you know what to do. Get Mr. Bettiton in, and then get them both out. Leave it to me, Skip. Let's go, Casanova. Darling, I just popped in to see how you were. Oh, fine. I'm having a wonderful time. That's the stuff. 
What have you been doing? Oh, just talking over old times with Hank. Oh, is he back? Yeah. Honey, did I ever tell you about the time we were stationed in Hawaii? No. My mother prepared me for practically everything. But that. Oh, that was a great station. Yes, sir, let's see, that must have been back about, uh, 44. We had two squadrons there. Mary, uh, honey. Please kiss me. Don't stop, honey. Go on. I remember we had, uh, Lockheed's and B-29s. It was perfect flying weather, clear, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Don't keep pushing me. I'm going here. What's the matter with you? If it was me, they'd have to hold me back. Come in. Oh, no. This is it, Professor. Good luck. Oh, hello. Why, Frank, what are you doing here? Just passing through. But, darling, I haven't seen you for years. Candy, I'm going to... I'm here strictly on pleasure. I mean business. Oh, well, I mean business too, darling. Uh, Candy, please sit down. Hmm? Please sit down. I am here strictly as Laurie's lawyer, and I wish you to come away with me at once. Why, darling, this is so sudden. What I have to discuss with you is entirely professional. Have you got the $5,000? Not at the moment, but I give you my word of honor. Oh, no, nothing doing. Every time I ever banked on a man's word of honor, it always came back marked R.D. <laughs> Candy, can't, can't you see how distressing this whole affair is to my client? Well, what about me? Can't you see how impossible it is for you to stay here? Well, I'm Laura's real wife, after all. It's a matter of conjecture. It's a matter of fact. I can't understand your motives. Surely you don't need the money all that badly, do you? No. I shall only spend it when I get it. <laughs> then why go to all this trouble? Well, it was very naughty of him to go marry again without divorcing me first. He deserves to be punished. Is that your last word? Can't think of a better one. Very well, then. I intend to stay in this room until you change your mind. Really? Well, in that case, let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we, darling? No, I can't. So Hank comes up to me, he says, Look, Skipper, why bail out? I just soon try and get the old crate down. Well, let's see, all the fellows that, uh, did bail out, they, they all got down safely. Uh, there was uh, uh, Harry and uh, Joe and... Look, honey, I, I can't remember all their names. I'll, I'll just go and ask Hank what they were. I'll, I'll be right back. Don't... Shh. Don't do that. What happened? It was most embarrassing. It really was most embarrassing. You don't mean to tell me you left her in there. She absolutely refused to leave. Fine thing. How did you ever get to run a law business anyway? I'm accustomed to dealing with clients who are fully dressed. Hello? Oh, Admiral Fields? Yeah, sure, put him on. Commander Vining, sir. Oh, right. Hello, Vining. Glad to have you working on this mission. Thank you, sir. Come on down uh, for a drink and I'll give you all the dope. You mean now, sir? Tonight? Why, certainly. But I, I've got my wife here, sir. Uh, this is my honeymoon, sort of. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do. Bring your wife down with you. I'd like to meet her. Which one, sir? Uh, which one? How many wives do you have? Oh, just one, sir. Uh, what I meant was, there's someone else here, uh, an old friend of mine from Shafe days. I, I wouldn't like to leave him. Well, bring him along, too. Bring him along. No. He'd be delighted, sir. Flat two, first floor. And don't be too long. No, sir. Right. <laughs> he wants to meet my wife and you. you. You can't take Candy down there. No, of course not. Or can I? That's the answer. Well, I didn't expect you so soon. Uh, didn't you? I got a surprise for you. We're going to a party. Oh! What's the catch? No catch at all. Unless you want to catch an admiral. He wants to meet my wife, and, uh... I guess that's you. Well, if you're going, I suppose I haven't got anything to lose. Nothing at all. So get your glad rags on, and let's get going. Frank! 
you got mad? No, don't you see? This is our big chance to get rid of her. What if the Admiral has a wife already? Not on the Admiral, you fool. We just get her out of here and then we lose her. What about your, your other wife? Is she going to like us all leaving? Well, I don't suppose she'll take too kindly to it, but what has to be, it has to be. Yes, but Laura. Hello, darling. Why, hello, Mr. Viney. Don't tell me you're going to bed at last. Ah, so you are staying here, too. Or are you? Well, as a matter of fact, darling, I... I have to run downstairs and see the Admiral. Admiral? What Admiral? Well, Admiral Fields. At this time of night? Well, darling, it's an order. Orders are orders, you know. After all, you, you are married to a serviceman. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, there, there, darling. I'll, I'll get away just as soon as I can. You know what these things are like, stuffy. But uh, don't you wait up for me. What was that? Uh, I mean, uh, do wait up for me. Well, good night, darling. You're ready. Good. Come on. But who is this Admiral Wayne? Admiral Fields. Fields. He lives just across the square. I thought you said he lived... You thought what? I thought you said he lived just across the square. Frank. Going down? Yes. So am I. Off him. Where do you want to go? Uh, just across the square. We don't go that far. Just go to the bottom and come back. Well, you just drop us where you stop and we'll walk the rest. I doubt it. It's getting very foggy out there. Really? Yes. A real peace super person could lose themselves easy. Ah, that's wonderful. It is thick, isn't it? Don't worry, I... I can find my way, all right? Just hang on to me. Sure, I'm sure. Looks about uh, right. Right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good. Run. Laurie, come back here. Laurie! Laurie! Oh, Chili. We've been getting along fine. Mrs. Vining. Don't look so worried, darling. I was just explaining to Bill all about your headache. Glad to meet you, Vining. I've been looking forward to it, too, sir. Uh, this is my old friend, Frank Bennett. Good evening, sir. Oh, indeed. I... You. Uh, you two have met? Yeah. We met a short while ago. Head on. Oh, you must be the old fool. Uh, I mean, he must be the old fool who crashed in here. Uh, thank you, Admiral. Yeah. Thank you. Well, sir, if you don't mind, we have to run along now. No, 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 just a minute. What about the mission? I want to talk to you about it. Well, with this headache, sir, I really don't think I could concentrate. Come along, darling. Bill, why don't you come up to the flat with us and have a nightcap? Well, the Admiral doesn't want a nightcap, do you, Admiral? Boy, there's nothing I'd like better. Besides, I'd certainly appreciate the pleasure of escorting Mrs. Binding to her door. Well, eh? thank you, Bill. 
Yes. Well, that was uh, very nice of you, sir. Thank you, and good night. Uh, good night. But, Laurie, we good promised night. Bill a drink. Well, oh, perfectly well, we can't take him in there. Why not? Why can't we? Yes, why can't we? Oh, well, very well, sir, but please be very quiet. We have a sick tenant on this floor. Oh, is there? Uh, what's the trouble? Oh, nothing very much, just uh, scarlet fever. Scar scarlet fever? Oh, I'd better be on my way. Oh, my nonsense, eh? Bill. You won't disturb her. Besides, she's probably sleeping soundly by now. Yes, well, uh, let's hope she is anyway, huh? Oh, boy, after you. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, Oh, dear, oh, dear. Do sit down and make yourself comfortable, Bill. This is delightful. Oh, then thank you, Mrs. Biden. Uh, not so loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right for me to whisper. What? Can I whisper? Yes. Shh, shh, shh. Sit down. Oh, no, ma'am. After you, please. Oh. No, no, not you, darling. I, I want you in the kitchen to help me with some drinks. But, Frank, be a good fellow and entertain the admiral for oh. me, will you? <laughs> oh. No, thank you. What do you think you're doing? Teaching you a lesson. I ought to put you across my knee and tan the hide off. Why don't you try it? One step nearer and you're a dead duck. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? Watch this. What was that crash? It sounded like broken glass. I heard what it sounded like, but what was it? I... Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, no, ma'am. I beg yours. I had no idea there was anybody else here. Neither did I. I'm Admiral Fields, ma'am. Oh, yes, my husband's gone down to see you, Admiral Fields. Your husband? Commander Vining. I'm Mrs. Vining. Uh, Mrs. Vining? But I thought... She, wa she was Mrs. Vining. <laughs> she, she's Mrs. Vining. Uh, the Admiral's rather confused. And who are you? I'm Mrs. Vining. I, I mean, I, I'm Frank Betterton. Oh, tell me we're not in the wrong flat or something, are we? Somebody is. You're getting better. D don't worry, Mrs. Vining. I... I'll fetch your husband. <laughs> He'll explain everything. He better. Now, look, you stay right where you are until I get rid of the admiral. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Sorry, what's going on here? Nothing, nothing, dear. Uh, have you two met? Yes. Pity. Uh, I think you better go now, Admiral. Uh, if you don't mind, sir. But why? Well, what is it? Scarlet fever. Oh. Good night, ma'am. Oh, you understand, sir, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I understand. Oh, but I don't understand, Vining. Uh, I met your wife downstairs, and now that one says she's Mrs. Vining. That's right, sir, uh, my mother. Yeah. Oh, hold on, darling. Uh, this is my very good friend, Frank Betterton. We have met. Uh, Frank's just dropped into us. Good luck, haven't you, Frank? <laughs> good luck. There, isn't that nice? I think someone else has just dropped into wishes good luck, too. Uh, yes, darling. Uh, this is his charming little wife. Love. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Betterton? How nice of you to look us out. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this for anything, Mrs. Vining. I'm sorry you have to rush off like this, Frank. Laurie, don't be rude. They've only just come. Yeah, well, good night, Frank. Good night. Good night. I don't see how we're going to get home in this fog. Is it thick now? Oh, terrible. A person could get lost in it. Almost. Have you and your husband far to go, Mrs. Betterton? Oh, yes. We have a long way to go, haven't we? Then why not stay here the night? No, no. We couldn't do that. Uh, could, could, could we, Laurie? No. No, no, no. no. Certainly couldn't do that. No. But why? Oh, I think he's feeling bad about barging in on your honeymoon night, Mrs. Vining. Oh, I guess that might be the reason. You won't put us out at all. You must stay. Well, that's really very sweet of you. It would be fun, wouldn't it, dear? Nonsense. Not another word. You can't possibly drive in this fog. And the least we can do is to offer you a bed. I'll show you to your room, Mrs. Betterton. Well, thank you, Mrs. Vining. I hope you'll be comfortable. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> you know, I shan't be sorry to get to bed. If there's anything you want, just ask. That's funny. What? Oh, nothing. I'll show you the bathroom. Outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. Don't worry, old boy. I think everything will be all right. Dartmoor's full of people who thought that everything would be all right. And there's a shower over here if you want it. Oh, I think we're going to enjoy staying here very much, Mrs. Vining. Oh, and there's a dressing room through there which connects with our room. 
I see you've got that habit, too. What? Rolling ties. My husband always does it, you know. Oh, well, Frank likes me to do it this way, too, Mrs. Vining. Oh, that's enough of Mrs. Vining. Please call me Jillian. Oh, fine. And you must call me Ca Carol. <laughs> yes. Carol. Oh, uh, darling, uh, Frank would like to see you for a moment in the other room. Oh, well, I'll just go and see about some sleeping things for Carol. Okay, darling. fine. Carol, Carol, who the heck is Carol? Me. Anything on your mind, darling? Don't call me darling. No, darling. Don't you think you're playing a pretty low game? With my Frankie, you mean? Now, see here, Candy. I am not going to have you taking a mean advantage of Frank. Don't you understand? The poor group's never had any experience of women. None at all? None at all. <gasps> what wonderful material. Look, why don't you give the poor guy a break? Well, certainly I will. It's time some girl did. Well, you can't both stay here. But we must. That's the whole fun of the thing. You in one room with a woman who thinks she's your wife, and me in another room with a man she thinks is my husband. I found some things. I'll give these to your wife. I expect you're dying to get to bed. Look, if you do as I ask, I'll give you double the money you want. Oh, hello, darling. I, I, I was just showing uh, Carol how these taps work here. Oh, you needn't have bothered, Laurie. Carol looks the sort of person who knows how taps work. Give these to Frank, darling. Yeah. I hope you'll be comfortable in them. Oh, so do I. He's more used to wearing a nightshirt, you know. What's happening? Did you fix anything? Yes. Here you are. What are these? Your battle dress. No. But I haven't got a nightshirt. I can't wear those, and I won't go in that room. But you must. Now, look, I'll sleep in here, on one of the chairs or, or the sofa. And if Jillian should come in and find you, what happens then? I could tell her the truth. You mean to sit there and tell me that you could look her right in the eye and say, Mrs. Vining, the lady whose room I agreed to share is not my lawful wedded wife? No, no. No, old boy. Then there really would be a scandal. Look, don't you understand? All you have to do when the time comes is to sleep in the dressing room. And who's to know? Frank. Frank, old boy. For me. Oh, boy. And don't worry, because I'll be there to keep you company. Well, I think I... I could have been at home, listening to my bird calls. Oh, come on, Frank. Think of the funny side of this thing. Funny? I don't see anything funny. You will. What do you mean? Wait till you see yourself in those pajamas. Oh, come on. Don't be like that about it, Frankie. Remember, you're doing your good deed. Look what my good deed has got me into. A night of sin. Uh-huh. So, uh, you don't intend sleeping in the dressing room, hmm? Of course I do. What are my clients going to say? You're not going to invite them, are you? This is it. Ha. Good night, old boy. And good luck. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on in, Romeo. They're in their room now, so give me the key. Now what are you going to do, Frankie, darling? <laughs> I'll show you what I'm going to do. You thought you'd caught me, didn't you? Huh? You had to get up early in the morning to catch me. What were you saying about getting up early? Well, the key of the, the dressing room door. Well, you should know that by now. You don't propose to stand there all night, do you? I said you don't propose to stand there all night, do you? Oh, no. Aren't you coming to bed? Yeah, sure. When? Let's see, uh, what's today? Laurie, are you sure there's nothing bothering you? No, 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 it's just this headache. Headache? Where'd you get a headache? In my head. Oh, how unusual. Maybe it'd go away if you lie down. No, 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 no. Last thing I must do is lie down. It's, it's an old war wound I have up here, you see, and whenever the pain comes back, I, I have to exercise it. Exercise your head? Yeah, it, it's kind of yogi, you know, but it, it won't take more than a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, 
What are you going to do? Get undressed. No, Candy, I beg you. But I want to go to bed. I absolutely forbid you to disrobe here. Well, where else can I? This is my room. Yes, but I'm here. I know. Aren't you lucky? Candy, you, you can't walk about in a petticoat. Petticoat? I haven't got one. You haven't got one? I don't understand. Come over here a second and unzip me, will you? And what you? Unzip me. Certainly not. I've never unzipped anybody in my life. Oh, well, in that case, I'll have to do it myself. No. Look, oh. Well, it's not as bad as all that, is it? I dare say you look very nice, but I can't see you. You're making a lot of unnecessary fuss. Why, people wear far less than this on the beach. Yes, but everybody's looking then. Well, I'm respectable. Respect? Oh, Candy. Well, what are you going to do now? The keys. Where are they? 370, 371, 372, 373, 374, 375, 300. Oh, yeah, I guess so. You seem so preoccupied. Preoc... Oh, I... I was just thinking about a pal of mine. Must you think of him now? Uh, his honeymoon wasn't exactly normal, you see. Oh. Is this? He was terribly in love with his wife, you understand, but... Uh, he didn't know whether he was married to her or not. Didn't know? Where was he when the wedding took place? No, no I, I mean, he didn't know whether it was legal or not. So he couldn't be sure whether it was all right to uh, honeymoon with her or not. Why didn't he tell her about it? He just didn't have the courage. Sorry, you don't mean he... No, no, of course not. Oh, Laurie, darling, I'm so tired. Please, please, can we get some sleep? Hello. It's coming back. I guess I didn't give it long enough treatment. 410. 411. Here's what you do, must know. I think you're very attractive. Say that again. Well, I do think that you're... That you're... Very attractive. Give me the key. What, after you've discovered that I'm very attractive? Can't. I can't stay. Ah. I tell you what. You get into the wardrobe while I get into bed. In there? Thank you. 
Who are you expecting? Stuart Granger? Oh, no, thanks. He's married. Yeah, that's because he didn't know about you. Oh, go on with you. Play up yet? No. Come on. They must have had quite a party last night, Judy, by the glasses and the empties. So what? When you want to go a severe thing like marriage, you've got to have some sort of anesthetic. Oh, you. I'm just naturally romantic. Does that surprise you? Anytime any woman says it does anything to surprise me, I will seriously reconsider my outlook on marriage. Well, when that day comes, you know where I'll be. I can only hope. Come on, rustle up some chow, slate. Rosie Chow, come on! Yuppie, yuppie! Hey, Skip. Hi. Wake up. Hey, come up in here. Skip! Snap out of it! Oh, it's you, honey. Had a nice night? Oh, ecstatic. Where's Frank? Good morning, Hank. Good morning, Mrs. Barney. Oh, Hank. Yeah? You've served with Laurie for many years, haven't you? Since she was a wolf in lieutenant's clothing. And I guess you're very loyal and fond of him, aren't you? Yeah, he's all right for an officer. What I mean is, you two wouldn't have any secrets from each other, would you? I don't know about that. <sighs> anyway, I'm quite sure you'd be equally loyal and open with his wife. Oh, sure, sure, Mrs. Vang. Thank you, Hank. Okay, I'll get the breakfast. I'll just take fruit juice. Okay. And I'm sure you know what that candy likes, of course. <laughs> oh, don't look so surprised, Hank. I know all about it. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. So with you. You know something? I've just been surprised by something a woman did. Oh, you have? Oh, Sergeant. What are you trying to do? Suffocate me? Oh, Hank, I almost forgot. You might take a look at that bath. Something's stopping it up. Okay, Mrs. Whining.
morning, darling. Morning. Have a good night. Wonderful. You? Fine. Well. Well. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go and see about breakfast. Good morning. Where are my clothes? How should I know? You've been the cause of my doing the most dreadful things. Why, Frankie, you're entirely responsible for making me look a, an absolute fool. Oh, come, come, old man. Don't give me all the credit. You, through your complete irresponsibility, have forced me to spend a night in the, in the most compromising circumstances. You leave me no alternative. I'll go to Mrs. Viney, a second, and tell her the truth. You do that, and I'll call Jill and say, Betterton isn't really married after all, and he's using our flat like a seaside hotel. Well, you can't say that. I, I slept in the bathroom. And uh, Candy will confirm that? Well, of course she will. <laughs> you don't know Candy like I know Candy. This is a ghastly plot. You ruined me. You know what this means, don't you? If it gets out. No, what? I had to resign from the Conservative Club. Oh, not necessarily, old man. I, I think we might hush it up. In the middle, Mario. Here? Thank you. There's nothing to hush up. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> I think the situation really is very funny. Very funny. <laughs> you wait till my chief clerk arrives and tells you that you're a bigamist. That'll take the silly grin off your face. I've already decided on the move I'm going to make. What move? You suggested it yourself yesterday, don't you remember? I instruct you as my lawyer to take fresh divorce proceedings against Candy. Oh, so you finally come to your senses at last. Naming yourself as correspondent. Look. Good morning, Mr. Benson. Here, put this around you. Breakfast, Carol. Breakfast, you two. I'm starving. Sign of an easy conscience, darling. Sit down, Frank. Coffee, Frank? I may call you Frank, may I? I know what I'd like to call him. Kipper? I beg your pardon? No, thank you. Where are my clothes? Well, the sergeant took them out to be clean. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, dear. <laughs> Coffee, candy? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Carol. I must have been thinking of someone else. Uh, well, why don't you eat something, Frank? Not hungry? Perhaps sleeping in a strange bed has upset him. Far, far more than you may imagine, Mrs. Vining. It always used to upset my first husband, you know. Oh, I didn't know you'd been married before, Carol. Why, yes. Didn't Laurie tell you that Frank was my second attempt? No, not a word. Why, you knew about it, didn't you, Laurie? I, uh, I don't think we ought to be talking about your first husband in front of Frank anyway. Oh, Frank doesn't mind, do you, darling? No, no, rather not, darling. I'd love to hear about the bounder. A shocking fella. He'd shoot his own best friend any day. He probably will yet. Did you quarrel much? Oh, all the time. We never stopped. Well, maybe it wasn't his fault. After all, it takes a couple to make a row, you know? He'd usually had more than a couple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? The commander and his lady, they had separate rooms. So what? So what, indeed? If you're married to me, would you have separate rooms? If I was married to you, I'd have separate houses. They're having cats and dogs in there. So what? They're married, aren't they? I'm beginning to wonder. Hey, Lucy, what was that you did to me? What do you mean? When we was in the lounge. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, that was it. Well, what about it? You do it again, I'll knock your teeth out. It's a pity you didn't find out his true character before you married him. Oh, I was warned. I'd only known him a week when he proposed to me. Oh, I should have taken that as a compliment. You don't know what he proposed. Uh, Laurie's been married before, you know. And from what I heard, his first wife was the end. <laughs> Did he say that? Mm, yes. Oh, do go on, Mrs. Vining, won't you? Well, according to my husband, she was nothing more than a gold digger. And so terribly vulgar. Oh! And What's the matter, darling? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I just dropped something, that's all. Just a load of bricks, that's all. Of course, Jillian was only kidding. I, I never said anything about my first wife to her. Oh, but you did to me, old chap. Uh, don't you remember? To you? Yes, about the way she drank like a fish. And uh, uh, tell us about the time she ran away with a lion tamer. Uh, tell us about... Uh, 
Tell us about that, will you? Oh, that's a new one to me. But I must tell you the one Laurie told me. Jillian, that's enough. Come on, I want to talk to you. Oh, is it important, darling? Yes, very. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm vulgar, am I? I'm a gold digger, am I? And I drink like a fish, do no, I? No, I was just playing out for their benefit. Don't be angry. It was just a little joke. Now we're alone. We must be rational and sane. Sane? I'm far from being sane at the moment. I'm flaming mad. Oh. Yes, Laurie? Well, it's a little difficult to know where to start. It's kind of a long story. Not the one you told me all last night, I hope. No, it's... Well, it's about Candy, my first wife. Well, I was a little rough on you, I admit, but... Well, you really got yourself to blame. Oh, I like that. I only wanted to frighten Laurie a little. And you may have succeeded in frightening me a lot. <laughs> it was very difficult for you. But what about me? A wife who didn't even know whether her husband wore long or short pants. Which do you wear? Short. Good. Hey, don't you ever do anything but eat? Sure. What? Drink. What was that for? I didn't do nothing to you. That's what it was for. Dames. I may as well tell you that if you had tried to make love to me in that room last night, oh, you're terribly damp. Here, drink some more coffee. Thank you, darling. What did you call me? I, di I didn't try to make love to you. Well, maybe someday you will. I guess I could stand it, even if you do snore. I do nothing of the sort. But you did last night, because I had to get up and put a pillow under your head. You, you saw me in the bath, in my... Oh. So the upshot of the whole thing is, I don't know whether I'm still married to her or to you. I knew that, darling. You knew that? Since mm -hmm. when? Since last night. Since... L Do you mean to tell me that you've been deceiving me all this time? Why didn't you say? Because I wanted you to be the one to tell me. Why, you little... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you think I'm really a bad girl. Yes. Why don't you try kissing me and see what happens? Why should I want to kiss you? Because I think you're a little bit in love with me. Maybe you always have been. In love with you. Candy, I think you're right. I knew it. And once more, I will kiss you. Now, Frank. Frank, keep your distance. Remember, I'm still another man's wife. You won't be for long. Stop where you are, Frank. Stop. I can't. You roused me. I'm sorry, Candy. by the bell. Uh, good morning, sir. I am Hicks of Messrs. Betterton, Betterton and Betterton. Oh, yeah. I've met the chief, Messer. I, I have urgent business uh, with uh, Commander Vining. You and others, bud. Come on in. The party's just warming up. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Skip, there's a guy named Hicks wants to see you urgent. Hicks? Who the heck's Hicks? He's my chief clerk. I'll go and see him. No, no, I'll go. Well, it's awful. No, 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 I'll go. Uh, come in, Hicks, will you? Oh, good morning, Mr. Betterton, sir. I had no idea you were spending the night here. Neither did I, as a matter of fact. I hope you didn't miss the bird call, sir. Most interesting, especially the call of the female Nido Pippet. <laughs> Very interesting, Hicks. But uh, don't worry about that. Uh, what's the news? Oh, the usual, sir. Uh, Russia has sealed off a sector of Berlin. No, 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 Hicks. No, 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 no. The business we were discussing last night. The bus oh, yes, sir, the business. I sent off the cablegram, as you suggested, to America, Good. and they have promised to cable the result to their London office. What was the result? Uh, I beg your pardon? What? 
What was the result? I'm sorry, sir. Slight technical hitch. Uh, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all right now, sir. I'm receiving you. You were saying... What, what was, was the, the result? result? The result of what? Oh, Hicks, please. The result of their inquiry. I don't know, sir. You don't know? Well, what did you come here for? To tell you, sir. Hicks, have you been drinking? Eh? Have you been drinking? No, 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 sir, no. I came to tell you that they were phoning the result of the inquiries direct here as soon as their London office opened. Uh, we should be hearing something at any moment now, sir. Hello? No, this is not the Welbeck Maternity Home. At least I don't think it is. You're okay, aren't you? Really, really sir? What is all this? We're just trying to establish exactly who your marriage partner is, uh, Mrs. Betterton. Mrs. Betterton? What's so surprising about Mrs. Betterton? Uh, I, I, I beg your pardon, sir? What's so surprising about Mrs. Betterton? Uh, I'm afraid it's gone again, sir. You're not plugged in. Eh? I said you're not plugged in. Hello? Uh, no. Hello? Yes? Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Yes? Oh. It was. It's not. Never. You don't say. It couldn't be. It isn't. It is. It is, everybody, darling. We're not married. Oh, that's wonderful, Laurie. Uh, when you two are quite finished, as for you, you're coming with me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going? To the nearest registry office. Good morning, Mr. Bethlehem. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Wiley. I'm just on my way to see your husband. Oh! Oh, he's uh, not my husband anymore. I just divorced him. Oh. Oh, oh darling, Candy, wait in my car, will you? Uh, KLH 806, I must get my car. Not likely. Oh, I don't believe it. Alone at last. Good morning, Binding. Mother's getting better. My mother? Oh, oh, no, sir. She's perfect. In fact, I just married her. As from now, we're on our honeymoon. No, no, you're not, my boy. I've just got the orders. You leave for Paris right away. Paris? But what about my honeymoon? No, I can go along, too. I can't? Oh, gosh, isn't that wonderful, darling? A Paris honeymoon. Yeah, just fine. But what am I going to do there, sir? You've got to set up a special woman's intelligence corps. Woman's intelligence corps. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. Sounds like a lot of women. No, you don't need to worry. Lieutenant Browning will be around and take most of it out of your hands. I'll just call the lieutenant in, and uh, she'll give you all the details. She? Yeah. Meet Commander Vining, Lieutenant. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. I'll bet the way you walked out on me in Hawaii, you just try getting rid of me again. Another Mrs. Biden? Well, I. Start talking, Buster. Well, darling, look, I can explain the whole well, thing. You see, make in, the the time, time, so in the Navy, I know. 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 I know